the pentatonic scale that will always reside on top of your A form chord, here it is with a C root, will be what we call the third string root pentatonic. Remember that my system of pentatonics involves a fourth finger locator. Here is C on the third string. That's what you look at, and the scale form is as follows. I'll give you the position fingering. 2, 4, 2, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. I call that the symmetrical scale, the Rorschach test. It looks like an ink block test. It's the only one that's symmetrical on the lower three strings and the upper three strings. So that might be a little tidbit that will help you remember the shape. If I'm playing over the C track, well, that's the E track. Let's go back to the C track. You see how I'm getting my ideas out of this scale. on and on. Now let's go over here to the E jam track. Where do you go? Here's my E on the fifth string. You see how it works? Again, I encourage you to learn this particular area and spend plenty of time on it. Go through every key, write a jam track, or just force yourself to park on one chord get really comfortable at identifying this A form, fifth string root major chord, with the third string root pentatonic. The more you see this stuff on the neck, the better you're going to be able to play. Don't rely on just running your fingers through it. Plot this stuff out, copy the charts longhand that you get with this lesson, and it's a great way for you to see it in your mind's eye. In the next segment, we're going to talk about the next couple of forms. Actually, we've got three more, and now that you see the format, we'll be able to buzz right through this.